growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gon' be shit. But I always knew that I would be. Five, four, three, two, one, and it's lit. Welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it. We always got to bring you somebody special. And you know what I'm saying? We always got to do it right. And before we get started tonight, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all roll up y'all sweets. You know how we do it. We on that OG. Ooh, we. You know what I'm saying? All the time. Mm -hmm. Make sure you hit that motherfucking description box. Everything you need from her to weave to motherfucking fashion is down in the description. So let's get straight to it like this. Because I got to. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, I got somebody that's extraordinary here. You know what I'm saying? I got somebody who's just up there on the moon, you know what I'm saying? It can't come down, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, man, I got, I got somebody, man, that been putting in work in the game, you know what I'm saying? It's just beyond what y'all just see, you know what I'm saying? Besides these blurred lines on YouTubes and all these bloggers, but... I got a special person here today, you know what I'm saying? And my main man right here is Low Deezy, you know what I'm so talking weird. about? What's up with hey, man. man? What's going down? Man, man. Man, I want people out here to know, first of all, how you doing? I'm pretty good, how you doing? Man, I'm, man, I'm living life, man. Shit, I'm good, because you done came, you know what I'm saying? Bless my game, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to come, I say I'm going to come. come. Hey, you say he come came, out. man, he here, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Square business. Now, tell everybody out there, like, off top, where are you from? I am from Holland Hills, man, Oak Cliff, Dallas, Texas. HHB, man. Golden Hills. You know what I'm saying? Block. So what is it like growing up, man, in the hills, man, first of all? Uh, man, it's the typical, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, first of all, I come from a two-parent household. I had right. my mama and my daddy there, so you know what I'm saying? You know, the streets took a place once upon a time, but not too heavy, man, for me, because I had, I had, uh, I had my old man there, man, so you know what I'm saying? Once I got older and stuff and jumped off the porch, you know, I partake a little bit here, but I still had a straight head on my shoulder, man, right? Because the guy is on my pops, man. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people don't glorify that or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Coming from two parent households, but I do, you know what I'm saying? So, first and foremost, I grew up in Highland Hills with both my parents. Man, you know that's what's saying? up, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my mom. She died about like 2012. But, uh, yeah. R.I.P. But you know growing up there, man, it was. It was a cool, it was a fun place to grow up, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? I come from a neighborhood that everybody was cripping and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, it was just, it, it was, I ain't see all the blood shit and none of that until I got to middle school. Right, 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 right. One thing about growing up in Highland Hills, man, you didn't never have to leave the neighborhood for nothing. We had our own grocery store, Easy Shop, you know what I'm saying? All the gas station. Fire station. We were on the fire station, we had all the, the new, you know, the fish place. The recreation. Uh, uh, blues catfish, we had, you know, of course, the little L. Yeah. Uh, Tom, Tommy Allen, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, recreation center, or you could say Holly Hill recreation mm -hmm. center. We had the boys club, turnkey. Never really did have to just need to leave the neighborhood, man, until, I, you know what I'm saying? So as a kid, you know, we just had, I had I had the funnest times of my life in Holly Hill, bro. So what was it like jumping up, man, like, Cause I know Dallas, we we musically inclined. Period. You know what I'm saying? We like to party. You know what I'm saying? Sure. We like to shine. You know what I'm saying? So like, what inspired you to start doing music? When did you start doing music? I started doing music. What inspired me to start doing music was when I was in High Hills, going to Jane Irvin High School. I mean, elementary school. It used to be Jane Irvin High School. <laughs> but way before my time. But uh, um, I had a teacher that 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 that, that uh, had. A, she was like a regular teacher, but she also was over the drama club or the school. And you know what I'm saying? I used to uh, you know be in plays and stuff. And then you know that that, that got me over my stage fright. Well, I can say, man, me growing up in church kind of really got me over my stage fright because I used to get to get up there and say Easter speeches and, mm -hmm. and, and Christmas speeches. Yeah, hey, yo, you know shit, what I'm I used to hate that shit. But I, I used to hate it too. I used to hate having to memorize these little old speeches. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I just got to the point where I started writing my own because mm -hmm. I, I was I was I, I, I had a way with words early, man. You know, I made a four on the Taj test, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was good with with words, bro. You know what I'm saying? And making them rhyme and stuff, man. So. You know, I, I started out from church and then to the drama club and then when, when we got to that drama club, it was a uh, it was a uh, a play that we kind of was reenacting the, the the music in the time. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I think we even went back. They had some little old girls doing uh, Diana Ross and the Supreme. Then uh, me and, and, and another group of guys. 
we did the Temptations and all the Daily Rip. Yeah. Uh-huh. I went out and then, you know, we were doing like, you know, Switch and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody, all the stuff that was in the 90s, man. They so, say, oh, David, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm so, leader, baby. <laughs> so so once, I, once that curtain opened up, man, and my girl came on, and mm-hmm. I got a chance to do my thing up like that, you know what I'm saying? I heard all the girls scream and stuff, man. It right. just, it just <laughs> right, right, right. And speaking of that David Ruffin, you know what I'm saying? Like, we knowing that he's the leader of the group. You know what I'm saying? He was always the forefront. So you already back then decided, like, I'm, I'm David. You already had that leader mentality. Yeah, you well, know? it was my idea to do it. Right. It my old man, he was on all the... Right, old right, school. right. He was on all old school, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, yeah. yeah. the you know, the boy K, yeah. you know, Ohio players, and all that. Lakeside. Yeah, Isley, yeah. Brothers yeah. Brothers yeah. Brothers Isley. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Did you just see the visual? Yeah, Did you see the visual? Oh, yeah. 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 the yeah. Man, Steve Harvey, man, say, I think that was the best one, bro. Yeah, that was true. I know everybody liked the Gucci man and the Jeezy one, you know what I'm saying? That was too much controversy. Yeah. I liked the I like the two short E 40s I like, you know what I'm saying? Ivy brother, but yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, my old man put me on all that good music back in the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, it just it just took. So, like, growing up, who was who was, who was was rapping around you? Like, who in the city was making noise? Oh, the city was making noise when I was growing up. The first dude I heard uh, locally, me personally, locally, was the guy from my neighborhood named Big Dan King. Big Dang King, shout out Big Dang. Big H-H-P. Dang. He the one here. He had a song called "Get Down, Get Down." You know, really get, get down, but he get down, but he get down. I like, man, hold on, Dang. Mm-hmm. So that was the first, and he was from the neighborhood. He was right. from the Browns, so right. know, I could see him. Right, 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 right. You know, what right, right, right. You know so he, he, I heard his song on the radio, and like, man, right. sparked the br- spark something in my brain. You know, everybody else that was my age was like, okay, that's cool. With me, it made me really just want to do it, and, and, and it could be possible because I saw somebody that was from my neighborhood do it. Right. Mm-hmm. And he didn't even know who I was. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just young to watching him. Watching him. Yeah, that's that's my guy, man. That's yeah. my guy. Man. Yeah. Holla, shout out to Big Dang. Nah, for real. Nah, he put nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. Big Dang put in some work. You know what I'm saying? Like Holly Hills Productions, man. HHP, man. So what made yeah. so when after seeing Big Dang, you know what I'm talking about? What made you to say, okay, like I finna get in the studio? What made you say, okay, like I finna sit down and really take it serious and write this, write this first rap and really get in here and record it. When did you well, start doing well, that? Well, the first, I was writing raps and I had a bunch of them written down before I ever got a chance to go to the studio. But I used to talk to this girl back in the game. You know, we young since sixth, seventh grade, but she had an uncle mm-hmm. that was, that had a studio of six to seven Pope. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Punch on. Everybody know Punch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's where everybody used to go record back in the game. But I just happened to know, you know what I'm saying? Her, her, this chick who uncle, it was me and another dude, you know what I'm saying? That we had kind of like a group going on and he let us come in there. We was, I was going to Zoom walk, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He let us come in there and, you know what I'm saying? Lay the track down for free, man. They didn't even charge us nothing, man. And I appreciate that too, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Punch. For real, yeah, shout out, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially the ones that inspire sure. us to like, see something in somebody and say, come on in here and get in that chance. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to a new... Yeah, support. Support is free. I was, I was A-Lo. People don't remember where the... What the people don't know where the low down so, comes so from. So that's A-Lo. Yeah, yeah, see, so where it comes from? Enlighten us. All right, so that's how it came. I was, my first mm-hmm. rap name was A-Lo. A-Lo. I'm still going to zone walk. And then I switched. Everybody... Like, if you if you know me from Highland Hill, people call me low down. Mm-hmm. That's where I was. That's where... We went from A low to Lowdown. You know what I'm saying? And it was a cat by the name of Mr. Lowdown that was on DJ DMD tapes back in the game. Mm, I like yeah. And I was like, his name was Mr. Lowdown. Yeah. That's why I was calling myself. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, oh, no, I can't beat him, bro. So, yeah. like, switch it up. We, we got to be, you know what I'm saying? When I put my name down, even though he was way in the H town, I, I just did, I, it was all about originality back then. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right. I ain't trying to have no name closer to the dude. So, you know, that's back when the easy and for sheezy, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Holly if you need it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why, that's why I switched it from the low down to the low D. Right. Mm-hmm. So, now we switching up the name, we switching up the caliber, we done got in the studio. You know what I'm saying? You done recorded the first song. Now, 
what was you, what was you what was your mind frame like? What I'm, I need a group? What I need a label? What I need? What, what, what was your mind frame or the process of even? Well, I didn't even understand it back then when I first got in the studio. Right. right. You know, it was just happened, man. I, honestly, I went to the studio that day and I thought my song would be on the radio next week. <laughs> <laughs> this is 1997. Right. 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 So, right. so, right. so you know, it was. We, we still, and then I'm gonna take you even back even further, man. We was recording on that tapes. Yeah. So I had to go by. Radio Shack to pick up me a dead tape for my session. Mm -hmm. They told me to do that. Right. He recorded this for free, but I had to bring my own dead tape. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that way. That's how the whole cost too. And then, and, then, and then from there, I, I kind of got, uh, 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 you know, I was I was going hard in what I was doing, and I kind of built a little name for myself on the, on my street. Right. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, it was a cat that was standing on my street by the name of P. Brown. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? P. Brown. Uh, AK and he had a brother named you know they had a group called Lost Souls and they had a label called Hardhead Records. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hardhead. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's so bad. So that they they adopted me. You know what I'm saying? No mm -hmm. no no uh paperwork and nothing like that. I don't even think nobody was on no paperwork. We were just out here mashing for what for the love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh you know, they adopted me and they was putting out a compilation. You know what I'm saying? And they was, you know, that's when No Limit was out. So right, they had, right. You know, they had the No Limit Soldier right, song yeah. on every CD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On every CD, they had a, a, a display of most of the label mates. Right, right, you know right, right. The brand. So that's what we did. You know what I'm saying? They they put, they had a hard head song. Right. And they put all the, all of everybody that was on the label on the song. And I, I, that was my first introduction on some real studio shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. so what was Punchy shit was real studio too, but it was just like me learning. But you just first. in the, you yeah. in I, I, by this time I didn't, I'm by ninth grade now, and I'm like really, 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 really done mm -hmm. falling into my craft. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. Really having a way with words. You yeah. Feel? So you know, I, uh, yeah, uh, I got down with them, and that kind of gave me the sense that damn, I could start my own late. Like when nobody signed me, we in Dallas, okay. we gonna sign. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So I already in ninth grade, you seeing the vision, like, okay, I can start my own stuff. Yeah, but I didn't start it till after high school, but. So you weren't with no label before then, you were just always grinding. Rap Hardhead work. was the only label that I was affiliated with. Right, that's the only one. Then you came out. So what, what birthed PMG? The fact that I couldn't get signed. And that with nobody sign me up, with no dope dealers from a neighborhood and nobody put no money. But I have to rap a lot, and you know what I'm saying. You hearing about no limit, and then you see cash money. You see right, the shit being right, done. Right. You hear about Luke, you right, know what I'm right. saying? Skywalker, you know what I'm saying? All, all these labels from the south that was doing it, but you know, there wasn't nobody in Dallas really holding not, that not, torch. Not like that, right? You know what not saying? like that at all. To where right. I, I, I could just, you know what I'm saying? But it, it was it was enough to where I could see what the, it, was, it gave the blueprint. Mm -hmm. right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, um, what what kind of shit to do? So from there, I just started kind of, uh, nah, I skipped the whole part. I was in a group. Mm -hmm. I was in a group. Hey, okay. The you, Aces. Yeah, yeah, the Aces. Okay, now there we go. I'm like, nigga, you was in the group. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My Forgot your partner and everything, Tanny. Look, look, there, there you go. <laughs> This shit is good, man. I, <laughs> I need a lighter. We lit, bitch. Look at him, man. Look at him. Like, yeah, I was in a group, man. The Aces, authentic collaborations evolve in society. Mm -hmm. and, and from now, we started, we tried to start our own label, too. It was called Guys in General. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so yeah, that was, that was, that was the group aspect of it. Rest in peace, my nigga. And I see the Aces consisted of uh, me as an MC. Uh, and my partner in NIC, man, and rest in peace as an MC. And you had uh, Jay Heaven as a producer. So we were kind of like, you know, this was in the early 2000s where we was kind of trying to pride ourselves like the Southern Duck Run DMC. Right. Two right. rappers and a producer in the actual groups. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know. Or a DJ producer slash whatever you know. Right, what put that okay. shit together, and make it work, shit, because it was still wide open at that time, especially in 2000. Yeah, it was yeah. wide the fuck so open. We came out with, with the Aces probably like 2002 or th 2003. It was called Organized Run. That was the name of the album, Organized Run. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, it probably been about like 05, 05 we came out with that, man. Yeah, and then because I, I came out with my first solo album in 2006. All right. Audio mm -hmm. crack. Audio started, crack. That's when I started PMG. Right. Mm -hmm. And then after that, man. But like, when you, but see, audio crack, see, I don't mean mm -hmm. to cut you off, but see, see, what people don't fairly realize, that's why I asked them that question, is because at that time, 
when Lil Dizzy first started PMG and dropped Audio Crack, no, he didn't just drop it. He branded it. Everything was PMG. It's just like how you wake up. Like, you know how you dirty niggas wake up and have them same old drawers on for the whole month? <laughs> Nigga, that's how you seen PMG everywhere when he dropped Audio Crack. No, like, not for real. For real, for real. So, I want to ask... push that shit. Yeah, I want to ask this, though. What What is, like... Because, I mean, a lot of people don't know. Everybody had their own trials and tribulations when they go through this music shit. Mm -hmm. So, as you coming from this group and you creating this PMG, you have to put all your you have to put all your resources behind it. No, for sure. You have to put all your money, you have to put all your time in, you have to lose family, you have to lose friends, you have to lose everything trying to conquer your dream. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So, what was the process like <laughs> building PMG and putting your all into it? Well, all right, first of all, it started out as profit money go getters. So it's P M double G at first. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, P M G G. P M G G. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. It's too long, it didn't really just have a ring to me. So I I, I, I switched it to profit money getters. You know what I'm saying? And that's just P M G. And I'm like, yeah, that's not good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we did. You know what I'm saying? And after that, I started recording on my first album. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting together the song titles. I'm just coming away, coming away with songs. I'm writing while I'm at work. Get out, do me a little grinding after that, trying to pay for this studio time. Right. So I bump into this nigga named Spliff in Fire Station Studios. Spliff Wayne? Spliff Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm fucking start fucking with Spliff. I get over there and I get to recording the album. I'm probably over there for about a month. Like I got about, you know, a good, decent amount of work done. Shit, I'm really good. Working on towards another shit, but I'm just steady recording so I can have this shit stocked up. That's my mind. Right. So, you know, it was in the house studio, so this is on Denley, Denley Block. You know what I'm saying? Everybody from the, from the clip will know where Denley is. So, I think them houses knocked down, man. You know some of them are, well, some of them still This house that I'm talking about is yeah. knocked down. Yeah. It was two, and it was right next door to it was, it was a spot. It was, you know, some, some, somebody, somebody had a spot next door. So, the nigga who had the spot next door was this nigga named Scooter Mac. So, Scooter Mac used to be over there. You know, it's his spot, so he ain't really just be in a bit. So, right. he used to be next door at the studio listening to niggas rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, he was listening. To, he, I, I was coming up, you know, so I was noticing. I'm thinking, I don't know who he was. I just you know, know he was over there all the time. So, nigga get to digging my shit and fucking with me on my shit, man. So, you know. Uh, now after a while, nigga just asked me, man, what you doing with your shit? Right. What we finna do with this? What you finna do with this? I'm like, man, shit, I'm finna put this shit out. I got my label, PMG Entertainment. You know right. what I'm saying? And shit, I ain't got signed by nobody, so I gotta do this shit myself. Right. That's why I'm here recording this shit, and I'm finna get ready to do it. So you know, that was the process behind it. And then he was like, shit, man, let me jump down with you. Fuck it, let's do this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, let's put our minds together, see what we can make a do. So. That's where it all began. So now you got the van. Yeah. So he he, he put some he, he put some resources behind. Yeah. Uh huh. <coughs> now you now you do this shit. It's all great, bro. Bro, fuck it, shit, hell, shit, fuck it. Wow, let it fall. But anyway, um. So now you got the van, you got everything going and stuff like that. Was it in, in process? Um, I know because doing music is the process of learning. So in this process, was you even learning about you know? Publishing your music or like copywriting your music, was you learning? That was that was a slow process. That was a slow right. process. I knew I knew we had to go to BMI. I knew we had to get some publishing, but knowing how the percentages break down and mechanical royalties and all this shit, I ain't had, I ain't, I ain't grasped that. All right, real. cause we were still in the CD area at our time. It, it, was, it was hand to hand. Yeah, yeah, it was hand to fist. Yeah, it was it really about how good of a salesman you were. Right, right. The people right. Ain't heard you anyway. Right, yeah, right, you know right. Saying? So if you're a good salesman and you got your shit presented, presented well, you're going to make some money. Right. I'm not there making money off the music, you know what I'm saying? And then if you put your shit in the CD player and the bitch right. actually jamming, right, right. these niggas call you back like, damn, yep, give me yep. two or three more of them bitches, yep, man. Yep. I'm going to my shit, yep. man, or something, or something. <laughs> That's how you know this shit was going on nah, for real. Nah, you know, yeah. nah, this how you knew Dallas niggas and the music was jamming back in the day, too. Remember yeah, when the boots, you know when the nigga burn your shit and then you at the bootleg house and the cars lined up, nigga, yeah. around the bootleg just to get bootleg CD. Nigga. Mm -hmm. Like square business. That's how it was back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So, like, what what did you always want to be besides an uh, artist? You know what I'm saying? At that time. At that time. And that's music. what I wanted to be. You always wanted to be an artist. Yeah, at the time, nigga, shit, I, cause 
you know? Niggas, how niggas responded to my shit, and then actually me just, because I'm a private person, I ain't just right, right, really right. going, you know what I'm saying? And if I put it out there, that, that, that deep, intimate shit, mm -hmm. it's going to be on that, in that, in that music, right, like, that really right. beat, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. you know, it was therapy. Right, you know therapy, music and, and, therapy. Niggas, and niggas was receptive to my therapy and related, so right. I feel like I had to get it out. Mm -hmm. So, what's some things like, you wish you would've known before you even started your career and putting PMG out there? Mm, uh, this, when I first put, put my music out there, bro, it was all about the music and, and uh, the business came second. All right. The business was the process of learning. All right. You know what I'm saying? So, it was like, cause like, a lot of times, the mistakes that I made as an artist and the heads that I bumped as an artist, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that played back when I started to manage and I knew how to correct those. I, when I learned from those mistakes, I right. knew how to apply it to somebody else's situation and do right. the same thing. Right, right, right. And if you're managing that, then that's just, that's just second nature, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, I don't know, it was like those lessons turning to bliss. Mm, for real. Nah, that's where I'm getting it. Mm. Now, you. It's a lot of people in Dallas around. It's a lot of people in Dallas that make moves. But you, <coughs> you touch people, other artists outside the city, like Ball and G. Like what is it like working with Ball and G? And then what is it like being an independent artist and out here really getting your own features? Well, shit, that mean nigga had to go make some money to go pay for that shit. For what? For what? That's what you know what I'm saying? You gotta have the money to spend the money. Right, right, right. But, uh, shit, man, working with Bob and G, man, that was like, you know, shit. Yeah, I'm working jealous. with Bob and G. Mm -hmm. I was jealous. I'm bad in the I was sitting there watching the making of the video before he put the video out back in the day, and I'm sitting up here like, man, man how the hell this nigga get my favorite artist eight ball on this mug? You know what I'm saying? Man. I said he got eight ball on it. It was just such a beautiful look, man. That was that was a, that was a beautiful look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just see, I had to learn how to capitalize on everything at one time, and I was doing it, but I was just, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have it down to a science. Yeah. Right. Cause I was shit, my man, my own manager and artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no team. It was right. Just me doing everything. And it was hard to try to balance. You know, you gotta be, you gotta really have a team behind you to balance all those things. Right. If you're gonna be concentrating solely on the artistry, you know what I'm saying? Picking the right production and making sure you're in the head in the right space so you can write. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta do that shit. Then you get over here and come up with the whole marketing scheme and get in contact with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just not realizing how to. Build up network, you yep. coming from a city where niggas ain't friendly and just gonna pop up and fuck with everybody. It's just like making right. a transition. Yeah. You know, it took time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It took time to realize this shit. So right. you know. But, you know, working with them niggas, bro, was like Yeah, hey, yeah, nigga. Yeah, like for real. Them 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 was them, them, them was my niggas I looked up to, nigga, when I was rapping. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I was a young nigga, that's who I was right. listening to. That's who I was you know listening to like them. And them niggas, and they, and they transition, evolve, even when after they left Swab, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas kept on jamming, bro. Right. And I like, you know, shit, that, that let you know it don't matter what the producers are, if you got a certain sound, you know, just as long as you on that motherfucker bringing what you always bring, and the people love it, it's, it's just enough. Message, he, he, that's, he just dropped some jewels, y'all better catch me. It don't matter what your producer, it's all about, it's all about you. Sometimes you it is, though. Like, yeah. You know, but if it, if, if, it, if it don't matter about your producer, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, it's, right. just, it's right. just even more but, special. But like, it mattered about your producer, but it's just like, for you, baby, the first time to bounce when, around. When I say that, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, some producers and artists get together and they make that certain sound, and it just mesh together so well that some of the stuff that they put out with other other people just don't sound as people, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, so, right, right. With Bob and G, them niggas went from a dislabeled the, producer and then went back solo and the yeah. niggas done jam, bro. Mm -hmm. I'll do that shit, man, so. Yeah, yeah shout out to the man. Shout out to the motherfucking me, uh, eight ball, yeah, LJG, you know what I'm saying? You know how we do it on here. You know what I'm saying? We honor our artists, and today, you know what I'm saying? We celebrating no DJ. So like I say, everybody roll them sweets up and get high while we run through there. You know what I'm talking about? So, do that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> tell people about Low DZ. Who is Low DZ? 
Man, I'm, I mean, everybody know Lord the cool ass nigga. Right. Well, I'm Lord, right. man. Yeah. Cool ass nigga, man. <laughs> Chill nigga, man. Just trying to get to the money, man, and make sure everybody good. Right. So we can all be good. Right. Write this shit down equally, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And bring this shit back to the house. All right. So is there anybody, like, as far as you doing your music? Because I'm going to jump to the management next. Because, you know what I'm saying? We going through there. So in your music that, that you always wanted to work with, but you never had a chance to work with? Yeah, man, it was a bunch of people, man. I, I can't even say her name out of them. You know what I'm saying? Cause we done went through errors. Well, what? what? All right, well, now, man, give me, give me, give me, give me at least two. Uh, two? Uh, but at that time, because I know you knocked them balls. Just doing balling them alone was a milestone, knocking out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I already gonna, I know he might say pop, but you know, I don't know. I don't know how he might, oh, ain't no telling. Uh, I would, I, I, I my first favorite rappers was Southern. You know what I'm right. saying? You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to talk about me falling in love with hip hop, my first rappers was Southern. Southern, so. Right. Favorite rappers was Southern, so I'm going to have to say. I'm going to have to say. Face and UGK. Mm. I got to have Pimp and Bun. You know yeah. What I'm yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy, if you would have did. Yeah. Boy, you would have to, boy, I say shit, mm. man, I say, that'd have, been, that'd have been a beast right there. All right, so that's that era, so we're gonna come to this era, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to say, mm. I'm gonna have to say, Drake, you uh, know, uh, Trizzy, Drake and Jay, man. Well, Jay ain't even this day, cause I just, I just went. I just gotta keep him. Nah, Drake's still relevant. Jay, I'm talking about Jay Z. Yeah. Oh, Jay Z, they still relevant. Yeah, I do. Nah, you got shit. They still relevant as fuck. Shit, goddamn mm. me, goddamn. That's ooh, that's a tough cookie right there. This can happen. And then they can't. I'm thinking about realize. marketing schemes and all this <laughs> shit. Right. You asked me if I had to have right. what I wanted to have. Yeah, that's, that's how yeah, I that's that. Been, I mean, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. hey. So who, like, who all you worked with in the city? Like, cause you you don't work with a plethora, plethora of folks. I don't work with uh, everybody, man. Shit. Pretty much everybody, huh? Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, I work with a bunch of them from Lucia, Tuck, Tom, Gaga. Uh, you know, shit, no shame, uh, shit. Shout out all of them. Yellow Beezy, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, shit, I done worked with a bunch of them, man. And who the, who, who the, what was the best experience you had working with one? I can't remember everybody. Like, what one artist is Dallas and, and artist, I mean Dallas, I mean artists in Dallas that you had the best experience, like, really collabing with on a song with? Uh, like far as they work ethic and you know as far as work ethic mm -hmm. uh, I want to say I was like uh, shit I don't know it's a couple of them man cause now that's good you to got, hear you got a, you that's got good a, to hear got a few wordsmiths like just being in the studio with Gary man that nigga they're just coming in that bitch and you don't know what this nigga gonna say man. <laughs> you don't know what this nigga gonna say you don't know what this nigga gonna say. <laughs> man, bullshit. They can maybe be having niggas in there like shit, okay? <coughs> oh shit, that nigga. Damn, I ain't think he was gonna come in like that. Nigga just was cold. <coughs> yeah. Uh, calling a bitch. Uh, Lucy, man, that nigga there. Mm -hmm. He just did some different shit. Like, it wasn't like. Uh, no, you know, he didn't, he didn't use no pen and no pad. But it wasn't like the nigga went in there punching ball for ball. Like he going in there, how weren't taking that bitch with no pen and no pad. Right? <laughs> and he didn't come in with the rhyme. He wrote no, it in his head. Right. right. Some kind of way he did it. Yeah. Some kind of way he did it. He said some kind of way that nigga bro, did it. Bro, hey. Man, and then Duh, like, and he took, I have and a Lucha story like man, that too, man, bro. Say, that shit, that shit. That and you shit. see how he touched so, all bases, so, man. He, like, he even gave bro, mama he love. Come through there, man. Yeah. And he do, he, he hear the beat. He still do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you was doing that shit. Yeah, you was doing that shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, man. Yeah, those people over here the other night over to my hood. You play that beat back. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, all right, shit. They writing in their head. I said, that's yeah. some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's some shit I really I want to learn. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I mean, I have to punch in and do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. I have to use the punch in. 
You know what I'm talking about? So, what was the transition? What, what made you say, okay, let me put me, Low Dizzy, on the back burner for my music, even though you still do music, don't get it wrong, because I see you posting out your album covers and, you know, posting out your album covers. Yeah, but but still, you, I know that, man, music ain't gonna never leave you. Okay. Nah, it can't, you know what I'm talking about, for real. But what made you say, like, okay, like, all right, I'm finna start managing. I'm finna just like, okay, I'm finna get, I'm finna get these group of people, and I just finna put it behind them. It actually just had to happen because um, I'm take you, I have to take you back in the story when I met School Mac and we started the PMG shit. Uh -huh. uh, when I had the PMG, he jumped down with me and we, you know what I'm saying, had it going. And uh, the nigga had, he said, I got a little brother that's in the group, bro. And I'm like, okay, that's what's up. I'm gonna see what them niggas talking about. So when he came over there, three little niggas in the group, it was Snoop, Monstro, uh, uh, school little brother, uh, young Kobe, then you had Yellow Bees. Okay. He was little Yellow Bee at the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I signed them as a, as a first group. Okay. Yeah, shit. <coughs> we, I just started moving them with me. You know what I'm saying? We just, you know what I'm saying? They about to put out their little album, press up them little mixtape. And let them niggas go to school, <coughs> show them how to do that shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Make the shit happen, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I was on them early. That's how the shit went. And, you know, we had them niggas coming up, you know what I'm saying? But Yellow, Yellow kind of stayed out of jail, and the other nigga kind of went in there, you know what I'm saying? They came back out, kind of going back in. <coughs> And, and he just stayed out on his little music shit. And so, you know, so as he's still going on, we, you know, right. when he get older, he right. still fit it. It always been PMG. You right. Know what I mean? So, you know, so when it came that time, it was, the other bees, you know, popping and shit, man, he was always around. As he became a man, he, you know, decided start started investing into himself too. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm saying? Nigga just put that with him, and it just came from there, like some. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it was just something that just... You know what I'm saying? It managed to happen. You can say, hey, call up. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that's what's up. But you took it. Sure. Now, you, now you got a whole army. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who all, who all, who all on your roster? I ain't really no army like that. I got, uh, I got producers and I got... Uh, you got artists too. You got producers in the home. That's how that's, that's okay. on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about a bunch of guys in the No, 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 no. You got a team, you know what I'm saying, to make it yeah. happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Working. like it's like, hey, for real. Like, because, like, what, what you got? Um, Maestro? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Who else you got? Uh, 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 Jose Bodega. Bodega, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, you got, man, you got, and you got some nice, you like I say, you got some talented people over there, you know what I'm saying, your production that you pick is flawless too. Like, well, what's the process of like being around them, you know what I'm saying, making sure they hear, making sure they're there, and making sure the music is also up, up to part too. Yeah, just, you know, I just try to make sure everybody on their best shit, man. Because, you know, when everybody on their best shit, right. The best shit happened. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For real. For real. For real. You know, For real. You know, and just try to channel that and move it towards it. Man, a lot of time, you know, being a manager, it's all about where the artists see they self. You try to get them to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. That's, that's yeah. what it is. Well, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it hard being a manager? Like, is it like, or is it easy? Because sometimes you can just really let the artists be themselves and you just really just, what? Pick up the loose ends, you know what I'm saying? Make it's sure really, it's tied it's, in. It's, it's not control. What well, it is controlling is managing the shit, but it's really just. You know what I'm saying? You got it's, the artist. The artist, what it is? It's the artist. Mm -hmm. It's the art. Right, mm -hmm. right. You can't tell that nigga how to paint like this. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Nah, nah darken it up right there. Right. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you you get the art. <laughs> right. Get the art, man. Instead, now that's some real shit right there. So, like, is there any advice that would you give anybody out there that's trying to pursue? Yo, I mean, like anything in your career, like being a management or even being an artist. Man, just stay down. If that's what you feel like you want to do, stay down and do that shit and plan. You right. Know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, lock out all the negativity towards your shit. If you got to go, be turn the vision on that shit and match for your dreams. And don't listen to the naysayers or anybody yeah. else that know what they, what, what, what they want, you know what to do with your shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Just mess for your own shit, man. Get out there and make sure you present that daily. 
pumping your motherfucking shit every day. Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real, not real. one day you should not be doing this. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? Some kind of thing that's linking to make this shit, because every little old small baby step, man, creates the path. Right. Wow, so really? It's up to the success. For real. You know what man, what's some resources that helped you along your way? Uh, shit. Prayer. <laughs> Prayer. <laughs> Already did. You know God damn it. Jumping down with networking, bro. Just trying to, you know what I'm saying? Go for what you know. It. Get out here and grind, shit. Nah, we have no resources. Nah, 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 we have. We have. Creating them homes. Like yeah, to go down there and <coughs> figure out who's fucking with it or not. Right. If they ain't fucking with it, put it in their face till they start right. fucking with it. Nah, nah, for real. Mm -hmm. Nah, for real. Because I heard it's hard. I mean, it was hard. It's, it's, there used to it's be hard. spots. When you were selling CDs, you know, like, right? There was, there was spots and areas you just yeah, you go make to. Money. And you could just boom and be at the store and right. shit. And like you were saying, it's your personality and how right. you communicate. Right, because yeah. Dallas will let you know a bit like it or not. Yeah, you know what man. You can buy your CD and you can pay the $10. Yeah. Like, for <laughs> real. Like, man. Like, so. What's different about your grind now than it was years ago? See? And she knew, she, she right on it. But so what's different about your grind? Yeah, what's different about it is shit. Uh, shit, what's different about it, man? You gotta, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tell you, like this, like I said, we, we, this podcast here to honor you, you know what I'm saying? They're really just like, you know, Get to know, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's like, shit, hell, everybody else, we, you know, they, it's, it's, it's by bullshit. So it's I, like. I, I always think I feel like I've been, you know what I'm saying? Now, yeah, I'm, I'm spontaneous with the grind. Right. You know I mean? Right. Like, any kind of, if the, shit, if the opportunity presents itself, niggas not gonna try to sleep on it, you know what I'm saying? Niggas done, not trying to watch the shit walk out the door, you feel me? Right. So right. niggas just gonna try to stalk the situation, you know what I'm saying? So that's all I've been doing all this time, man. And I've been trying to stay on top of whatever's the new wave. Like when, when the shit switched from, uh, you know what I'm saying, CDs, like you say, to downloads and ringtones, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And then you went to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, streaming. streaming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, yeah. And instead of uh, having, having to hit, run down to the radio station and get, go state to state to each radio station, you deal with curators who are on playlists now. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, that, that, that's the way to get on. Right, right. No okay, you know playlists and stuff. So what you think about staying on the trends? You know the new trend is the NFTs. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout Digital real my, estate. Shout out to, shout out to my, my kid folks, the blockchain boys. Blockchain boys. Yeah, okay, yeah, uh, okay. Yeah. so you already up in there now. You know, you, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make my entrance. No. Right, trying to make an entrance. Yeah, you can't already. in there, though. Right. <laughs> It's a beautiful thing when you can make something that, that's rare, you know what I'm saying, then make it a digital real estate. Yeah, and then I'm trying to turn, I'm trying to turn people, my people on to it too. Yeah, man, the NFT is coming, man. It's, it's something real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it, it, it is something real. Man, who, who, man, so, man, who, who, man, who, who been your, my, um, who's your influence, you know what I'm saying, as you coming up? Who's been the most influential in your life? Most influential in my life? Uh... I gotta say that's my pops, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. Determin determination. You know what I'm saying? That type of guy, man. Not to, he always put that in me, man. That's right. the influential dude in my life right there, my, my old man. Already, already. That's what's up. What you grew up listening to, man? Like, man, what, like, what, like, what, like, what, what type of music? I know you listen to that old school. You know what I'm saying? What else you grew up listening to? Like, shit. What you mean, like? Like what? Like what you grew up on? Like man, what, what was that like? Well, like yeah. every time you just got out in that truck or got in that car, you like man, this is, I'm playing this. Like man, I'm nonstop. Like this is my shit right here. Yeah, I was an A bot and that G fanatic for sure. For sure, for sure. That's the one. I, that's where I was spending my. I say the first, the first uh, album I bought was CD. I bought probably was a. I think that was uh, MJG No More Glory, was it? I don't know. Is that No More Glory? I don't know, but I know the first tape I bought with my own money was. Especially <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know, if I, when you buy your first right, album with your own me. money, Whoa. you gonna cherish that bitch. I'm gonna be all the way fucking with you. It was a bootleg tape uh -huh. in front of EZ Shop. <laughs> 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 
put yeah in front of the EZ shop, man. The game was a Tila though, piece of Ooh, Tila. Like it, but it, it was fresh though. It still had the album cover on there. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, you know the playlist was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, presentation. You know what I'm saying? I think for Sam Goody, my first CD, I think I bought it with my own money. Nah, I take that back. Was it? It was out. It was whichever drop first. And I think, yeah, yeah, it was the Untouchable. That was nice. Mm, that was our nice face. That's the one I brought. Boy, mm. when they had Mary Jane on her, then. Yeah, they had Mary Jane. Ooh. Ooh. And Smile. And Smile. Ooh, Ooh, shit. Yeah. Still, still yeah, ain't really bro. touched by Man, me. Man, yeah. Damn, yeah. Like, and everything he's speaking on is just facts. Yeah. That, that shit I, just, I remember everybody, the tapes. Everybody who he's speaking on. Podcast underrated. tapes and CDs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just nosy. What's the most valuable lesson you done learned? That that has stuck with you through everything? Business. It's business. Business. Well I told you, boy, we done seen a dollar nigga winners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's personal. Yeah. Two different things. Two different things. Yes. Yeah. 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 How to separate the two. I always have to be good with this. You gotta have a good balance. I always have a good bag. Yeah. That's real shit. God damn me for real. Like, alright, so I always ask my people this. We always go down through the top threes. <laughs> I got my top threes, <laughs> goddamn yeah, me. I don't care, you can't get around with top threes, you know what I'm saying? Top three MC? I mean, top nah, I don't know. I don't might not give you no MC. You know what I'm saying? I might give you my I might give you like a uh, mm -hmm. you listen to Chinese music? <laughs> 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 Why <laughs> like you listening to African music? <laughs> <laughs> My big brother, boy. Mm. Oh, they mm. put me up with that one. I'm about to say, nah, nigga, you African. Oh, <laughs> that big brother, boy, shit. Uh, 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 Alright, shit. Okay, nah, I'm gonna okay, well, I'm do. I'm gonna do hip hop and soul. So I need top three to this hip hop. Blues. And I'm gonna do hip hop soul, but the reason why I got them soul, cause you gotta remember, soul can go through all of them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. Like with my with my R and B and shit, like old school shit, I be I be like going with the underdog, but yeah, all my shit anyway. My list ain't really like nobody else. Mm. Niggas gonna be looking at my lips crazy and shit. It's your list. That's your list. That's why I asked. It's your list. But if you wanna know shit, what a nigga be playing? Top three soul. Top three soul. If you wanna go, judging by what's in my playlist right now, I don't know. I, I, let me see. Alright, so. So, I'm gonna have to go my number one. I'm mean, number three. I'm gonna go three, two, one. Alright. Number three. I got mm. Marvin Gaye. Oh, mm. yeah, that's just my list right here. That's number three. Marvin Gaye, boy, that's yeah. All right, so. My, my, my. All right, so. <laughs> number two. Uh, I told you. Was, no, no, I take it back. Okay, okay, okay. I take it back. <laughs> Two more of a gay. Okay, number two more of a gay. Okay, mm -hmm. no, number two more of a gay. Number three might surprise nigga with me, bro. But I don't know. He wasn't no one hit one that he had a few songs. He had just as many songs as everybody else's, but it just, his outcome came by words. But I ain't judging by that. I'm judging by my favorite songs of Jane. Okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. For real. And yeah, sorry, right. so number three gotta be Alexander O'Neill. Alexander O'Neill, mm -hmm. say, man, you know, that's that's that Sunday music. Roll the wave the run up, you know what I'm saying? You know, he been sampled shit, nigga sampled the shit out of his ass yeah, shit. Yeah. Alexander right, O'Neill. So three, two. Oh. And that's 80s baby shit right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, I got a real foot. Yeah, yeah, already. <laughs> <laughs> My boy say, boy, that boy, they say he won that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out number three. 
rappers. Alright, uh. You give me rappers. That's you, you letting them off. Okay, okay, okay. What? 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 What, what is it? Fuck it, elite rappers. <laughs> What, what 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 would you give him besides hip hop? Besides hip hop, I don't really know. Damn. Yeah, mm -hmm. music don't expand like it used to back in the day. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Right. Rap them too. What, what would you give yourself besides hip hop? What do you jam besides hip hop? Hip hop just seems so easy. Not, Not really, because it's, 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 it's a lot of people. It's a lot of jewels out there that people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I already know there's no one going to be eight ball. You know what I'm saying? That's off topic. That's my number one. Yeah. Goddamn me, shit. Hey. I was going for some of that shit. I was going for Yeah. Yeah, I was going for that shit. Kick that shit. See, I be liking them. I be liking them cuss the niggas. Yeah, them jams. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas heard that bitch and niggas fuck with that hoe, but nah, that hoe be. No, I'd be sure. speaking some shit. Aye, aye, it's going to be hip hop. It's going to be hip hop. Like that bounce, 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 bounce. DJ Quick, boy, say, yeah. Shit, I'm fucking with these hard Yeah, hip hop. So now that, that's, that's J. Core, uh, eight, eight Ways and Pimp Tight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. They like all they like them together. They were independent on that. Yeah, they were independent. Yeah, yeah man. Mm -hmm. So they still were jamming. Were, yeah. After the, all them transitions is what I'm saying. Yeah, they were. And they were, they were push management now, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing that thing. Yeah. 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 I'm still so what, we gonna do the rap. Yeah, we gonna right. hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop right. artists. I know number one, eight ball. We got eight MJ AJ G. That's on the list right there. <laughs> <laughs> Run through that. Solo niggas, 
It got groups. Oh, groups yeah, are included. Man. Groups are included. You can't have any jumping on this. Nah, groups are included. <laughs> groups are included. Oh man, he's introspective with his shit. <laughs> Hold up, man. See, look. Nah, groups are included. included. Right. I said I did. I got uh, somebody did this like me before. I was like, yeah, groups are included. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. ready for that one. Yeah. Uh, we're in the south. We're in the south. Uh, they say number one bubble sparks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, all right, for me in the south. Three, I'm gonna go with the Cavs. <coughs> <coughs> mm. yeah, shout out my favorite shit. Just saying, like, <laughs> Nah, he saying. came out with a fucking. Number two, I'm gonna go with. Yeah, shout out Outcast. Uh, two, I'm gonna go with Face. Mm. Not our Face. Underrated. To the fullest. Mm. One A Bob M J G. Yeah, A Bob M J G. There we go. We got it. <coughs> oh, I ain't G K. No E G K. Oh shit. Ooh. Yeah, my bad. I'm gonna have to take Cass out. Oh whoa. Oh whoa. Okay. Whoa. God damn it. Shit. That's what I'm talking about. Shit, to my nigga nah, Pimp. Nigga yeah. Pimp, see, bitch. Mm-hmm. So what the fuck is up? I'm putting powder on the street because I got big fucking nuts. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man, <laughs> man. <laughs> that made it to me before. Yeah. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck it mean, right. This is a podcast, man. We're the only way we can do it right. You know what I'm saying? Man, For real. Pioneer shit. Mm hmm. Yeah, so, so we got our top threes, right? Yeah. All right, then. Shit, we up in there. You know what I'm talking about? Sheesh. Shit. Well, yeah, you heard it. Shit. Amazing. And then we have to remove Outcast. Shout out Outcast. No, you know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all went diamond. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all went diamond. Like, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Shit, shit. Pock me too. Shit, let's go. <laughs> nah, for real. But um, what's your top three strands, man? Your strap strands? Uh, Marijuana strands, man, what you like, man, what you like to, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, bro, my favorite, my favorite shit is Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I go ahead, Gorilla Glue. I told you, the, 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 the real, real. Go ahead, the real. <laughs> <laughs> Not the GG4, the one. Not that extra. The first it's one. Gorilla Glue. The reason why y'all tried to clone the motherfucker. So, man, what's up, man? Where you see yourself in the next five years, man? Shit, man. Uh, hopefully, create opportunities for the community, man. All right. Trying to bring you back to the career, man. All right. That's what's up. That's what I'm really just trying to position myself to do. Already, oh, man. Shit, man. I see yeah. you got your protege over there, man. You know, man. You got your kids, man. That's a beautiful thing, and that's another thing I want to talk about, man. You, you're a family man. You know what I'm saying? And you really, you, you really believe in that. Both of your boys. You know what I'm saying? You got your producer. He, man, say he got him a bad producer. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, man, man, man. Tell, tell us about your kids. Tell us what it's like working with your kids. Oh, it's cool, man. You know, it's you know something they're adapted to and wanted to do. Man. Right. So, you know, I just wanted to make sure it was real and once I seen how they fell in love with it, just like I did. You know what I'm right. saying? Mm-hmm. You know, we just do. We just have I, I think, I think like, I love like, it. You love it? Oh, man, you already know. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, it's like, man, that's you. But well, that's, I think, I think that's you 20 times now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, man, I know that's you, because your daddy was a fool, but your daddy was everywhere. Trucks, <laughs> daddy, he know how to market. You know what I'm talking about? He know how to put stuff together, like for real. When he said he got a vision, you know what I'm saying? And I can tell how you was at the studio the other night. You had a vision. I can tell that that whole night you was just thinking about getting back, making music. That way, you looking like that ain't nothing. I did that. It's time to go back and get on something. Yeah. I, mean, I, can, I can see. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just like you. That ain't nothing. Come on, I got it. You know what I'm saying? For real. And I, and that's a beautiful thing. And I want to say we love you before I get up out of here, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there anything, like I, always ask, I always ask people this question. Is there, any, if, I, if you was in my shoes, 
Is there a question that I didn't ask you that you would ask yourself? Damn. It's a therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, there ain't nothing. You know, we got to do it right. Uh, question that I asked myself that I didn't ask. Uh, what do I got next coming out right now? You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> what do you got next coming out? Uh, see. I got uh, me, Sean, she dropping on uh, 27, she had it forward. Okay. On a uh, rap artist, chick artist I got right now. And, uh, Jose Bodega got uh, Mr. Bodega Deluxe coming in, uh, Def Defamation of the Character. Mm -hmm. You already know that. Yeah. <laughs> I got high and shit, man. But, but shit, that's how we do it. We're gonna stay lit, you know what I'm saying? We're still gonna get the information, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Tell, tell people out there where they can find you, you know what I'm saying? Shit, man. Uh, uh, Instagram, at Lodeezy, you know what I'm saying? On Facebook, Lodeezy. Uh, Lodeezy1, my bad, on Facebook. That's how you get it on Facebook. You heard it, man. Anybody, man, the floor is yours right now. This is where you take the floor. You can give shout outs, you can say whatever you want to say right now, you know what I'm saying? The floor is yours. Shout out to the city of Dallas, man. Let's get it going, baby. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep this thing going and flowing, man. Let's money here. Let's make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, you heard it here, shit, first on Lit Podcast. You heard it, Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Let's get up off the motherfucking boo boo. You know what I'm saying? Hey, nigga, we got a motherfucking bag truck, so get up off the crumb shit. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Next, uh, you know how to do it. Link's in the description. Anything you need, everything like that, hit that link uh, for the promo code for ShantaeTheWay.com. You know what I'm saying? Get your 30% off. Make sure you hit up, you know what I'm saying? Cardinal signs. Cardinal signs, you know what I'm saying? 222, you know what I'm saying? For your designer, you know what I'm saying? Pimp work glasses, you know what I'm saying? Whatever kind of glasses you want, you know what I'm talking about. And like I say all the time on my podcast, don't look at and listen to just the messenger. Pay attention to the message. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Don't you be looking into the and all into the messenger and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Talking about he this and that, that. No, no. Listen to the message because you might miss something. Other than that, you know what I'm saying? Stay lit to life. You know what I'm saying? Biatch! <laughs>